So in the last couple of months, we've definitely seen the crypto market in a bit of a rough patch. We've seen Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all altcoins down more than 30% from all-time highs, with some projects down more than 90%. But now it looks like things may be changing, and changing for the better, because we have seen some big movements not only from institutions and countries all around the world, but also finally in terms of prices. So let's talk about it. Bitcoin has been trending down since November 2020 when we saw it reach an all-time high of over $69,000 per coin. And now what we're seeing is that Bitcoin is finally breaking above this downward trending resistance that we have had for the last couple of months. You can see we tried to break above it in mid-December, but we failed. We tried to break above it in early January, but we failed. And now for the first time in months, we are breaking above this downward trending resistance for the very first time. So this is a great sign. This is on the daily charts. When we zoom out a bit and we look at the four hour charts, take a little bit of a deeper look, we can see that also we are breaking above a couple of other very important lines as well. What we have seen is that over the last couple of weeks, Bitcoin's price has been trending up, but then people got very worried when Bitcoin's price suddenly broke below it on February 2nd, February 3rd, 2022. Now though, we have reclaimed this level. We broke back above it and we even got above 39,000 so the only level left for Bitcoin, which could be happening very shortly or in the next couple of hours, is the $40,000 per coin number for Bitcoin. This has been the strongest resistance that we have had in Bitcoin for over the last year. This has been a strong support and a strong resistance every time we have hit this level. So even though things are looking much better, the last leg, the last thing that we need to see is Bitcoin's price break above this $40,000 per coin um, range. And once we do that, we should have confirmed the bottom and start a reversal to new record highs. Either way, though, the market right now is in a much better position. That's in terms of technicals. When we look at overall sentiment, macro events, what's going on overseas, there's also been a lot of positive news happen. On Twitter, we've been talking a lot about, if you don't follow me there, make sure to do that. But we've been talking a lot about all these positive events that have been happening in the crypto market, despite prices continuing to fall. The other week, we spoke about how Robinhood began testing their crypto wallet. Meta was integrating NFTs on Facebook and Instagram profile. Twitter rolled out NFT verification for profiles as well. Google hiring new blockchain division. Every single tech company was talking about crypto and Bitcoin. And that those talks have just been continuing to happen more and more. But not only that, with big tech companies, we're seeing countries all around the world dive deeper and deeper into crypto. We saw that a recent study by Deloitte reveals that 82% of Indians surveyed plan to invest in cryptocurrency once the government re provides regulatory clarity. And this is a vast majority of people in India who plan on investing in crypto or who already invest. And this is such a big change from what we saw just a year ago when there were talks about outright bans of crypto in India and a lot of harsh regulations. Now we're seeing so many people want to get involved and the government not being as strict as they were originally anticipating. And this is a common theme we're seeing. We're seeing that Ecuador also said that they have plans to release regulations on crypto this year in 2022. This isn't going to mean they're making Bitcoin legal tender, but what it does mean is that they are going to be providing more clarity as to the status of crypto in the country. This is going to mean more people in Ecuador are going to want to invest. This gives a regulatory framework for institutions, big money players in the country to start getting involved. And we've also seen this come out from Thailand, where they originally were we're supposed to be a little bit stricter on crypto, but now they said, look, we originally were going to have this 15% crypto withholding tax. We're not going to do that anymore. We want people to come to Thailand. We want people to use their cryptocurrency. We don't want to put harsh regulations on it. And the same thing is happening in Russia. They originally said, you know, we we're going to ban crypto. Now they're saying, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't ban it. We have a couple of competitive advantages in terms of Bitcoin mining, um, and maybe we should keep it. And that's exactly what we're seeing happen. All this good news has been stacking up on each other, and we're finally seeing it reflected in the price. Yes, there is some things we do have to be concerned about with inflation 
interest rates, the Federal Reserve. But right now, we have seen so many positive events in terms of mass adoption from institutions, from countries all around the world. Now we're finally starting to see some upward momentum in the market, and this is exactly what we wanted to see. So I'm just going to be keeping an eye out on that $40,000 per coin level. And as soon as we break above that, that's where I'm going to be putting in some pretty big long-term positions, multi-million dollar long-term positions. And if you guys want to invest in crypto, make sure to check out my link down below for KuCoin. That's where I do most of my trading, especially when we're talking about altcoins um, like Cadena, Polygon, and some of my favorite uh a layer one and layer two D5 projects. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on the overall market. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.